Okay, I want to talk about uh, wiring and gauge. Um, I'm underneath my solar panels right now, and as you can see, I've, I've got my wires uh, set up in parallel, just in a temporary. I just ran a bolt and a nut uh, through them all. But you can see the voltage I'm getting out of here. I'm getting up to 22.1 uh, volts uh, right here um, directly from the solar panel wire. So um, now I'm going to go to the other end and check the voltage, see how much I've, uh, voltage loss I have. Uh, I've got a 60 foot um, worth of 10 gauge wire that I picked up at Home Depot. Pretty inexpensive. A uh, lot, lot uh, less gauge than I thought I was going to need, but um, let's see. So I got 22 plus uh, volts here. Let's go into the garage. Okay, so here we're in the garage. Uh, you can see we're getting uh, 22 volts uh, again, uh, fluctuating between you know 20, 22, just like we were getting outside, directly off of the solar panel wire. So. With 60 feet of 10 gauge wire, to me it looks like I'm getting pretty close to 100% uh, power through the through the line. So don't be too concerned about uh, getting really heavy wire uh, and gauge. You know, 10 feet, uh, 10 gauge for 60 feet looks like it's working great for me. You can see that the um, charger is working where it's at full uh, MPPT mode. Uh, we're getting everything, all the power coming in through, through the solar panels. So, uh, 10 gauge wire bought at Home Depot. It was, uh, it was very inexpensive. Uh, it was doing a good job for me at 60 feet. Uh, this goes into the MPP charge controller. Here's the 10 gauge um, coming in. And then it's, this is going out I see where is this? Oh, yeah, this is coming into the uh, from the solar panel, and then I got 10 gauge coming out over to uh, the battery right here. You can see the hot and the negative, and then from here, what I did is I went to Walmart and I just for temporary purposes just grabbed these. These are just um, I don't know where the packaging are. Here, or here's the packaging right here. These are just. Uh, uh, Everstart top post battery cables, 15 foot, 15 inch, 4 gauge, and that's what I have here. So 4 gauge is what was recommended to me also. Um, so I have uh, the only two wires I have is 10 gauge and 4 gauge. Now when I start building my battery bank, I'll just go down to Home Depot and get some more 4 gauge wire and get some uh, battery clamp clamps. I do uh, have some. I don't know where they are right now, or or some terminals, depending how you're going to set it. Oh, they're right here. Uh, you can get you can get these. Um, I got I, I I got this set here at uh, Walmart. It was like three bucks, and the reason why I like this is because it's red and black, and I can put either wire in here or I can put terminals under there, um, which I like. I like the terminals; they're nice and clean. So uh, that's something you might consider. I just going down to Walmart. Was, they were much less expensive at Walmart than they were at the local automotive store. And then, uh, if I'm dealing with uh, some other batteries, I, you know, I may have batteries just coming off of cars or boats or something like that. Then I also picked up this. This is kind of I was uh, doing some woodwork out here, um, and this allows me to put in posts uh, on on maybe side. Uh, batteries that have um, terminals on the side, and then I can put I, then I can put these on there. But the only wiring that I ha uh, have is 10 gauge, 4 gauge, and uh, doesn't cost very much. Then you're going to need some terminals, and uh, you'll be in good shape. So decide how you want to hook up your batteries, whether you're going to use uh, uh, terminals or um, battery clamps, whatever. That, uh, hope that helps you on understanding uh, wire gauge. Everything I've seen on the internet uh, way overrates uh, how much um, the gauge of wire you need. You know, the, here they they were saying like uh, six or four gauge wire, 
but as you can tell 10 gauge works great and then I'd recommend 4 gauge here. You don't need to go any to your uh, 2 odd or 1 odd uh, wires, just the 4 gauge wire will, will work great.